On one of the most important livestock ranches in East Africa, a black rhinoceros checks the air, sniffing out danger. His blurry vision isn't much help, but his ears and nose are another story. No wild predator would ever dare to attack him. From a distance, the unmistakable scent of lions. Their hiding place in the long grass can't conceal them from the rhino's nose. Our first protagonist sniffs the air, ever more concentrated. Out there in the open savanna, he detects the scent of other rhinos. These are white rhinos, distant cousins that pose no threat, but with whom he would rather not mix. In fact, like all black rhinos, he prefers to live on his own in pleasant, peaceful solitude. Once again, a growing sense of alarm. It could mean a variety of things. Together with the scent of white rhinos, he picks up the smell of buffalo. And at an even greater distance, a single warthog enters the range of his nose. It's nothing, no sign of danger here. But still, he feels threatened somehow. And if you're a rhinoceros, the only thing that could possibly threaten you is a human being. Dawn in Nepal. As the sun rises, men from villages near Chitwan National Park gather elephant grass. Elephant grass is a tall species of grass that covers large areas, creating an authentic grassy forest. A savanna of unthinkable heights. The grass, which can grow as tall as eight meters, is highly valued by locals as a construction material and food for livestock. The problem is that every year more villages spring up, more villagers and fewer tall grasses. Once the men have left the elephant grass, other very different beings make their appearance. A female Indian rhinoceros and her calf. The forests and pastures that witnessed their births have now disappeared, destroyed by the fire and ax of the humans. This is why they are in search of new territory. Accompanied by her two-year-old calf, the female enters this new area with an air of hesitation. Once again, the rhinos are guided by their sense of smell. The odor of a wide river combines with that of the vegetation in a lush forest, exactly what they need to survive. Like all of the world's rhinoceros species, they need to be near a source of water, and the river is a veritable magnet for them. On the other side of a dry tributary, they can see a jungle. Now they know which way to go. But on the other side of the river, they pick up an unmistakable smell. Their worst enemy seems to be everywhere. This is the scent of man. Some 4,000 kilometers southeast of Nepal, on the far northern edge of Borneo, another rhinoceros is confronting a different problem. The last rainforests in northern Borneo are incredibly dense. The jungle serves as a shelter, protecting an extraordinary variety of various creatures. 
It's only possible to survive in the rainforest if you are a part of it. And here, in one of the world's densest jungles, the species have multiplied, resulting in some of the strangest, rarest, most extraordinary animals on Earth. In this paradise of biodiversity, in this world of strange animals, the strangest of all is the rhinoceros, a species unfamiliar to many, which has been seen by very few. He is the third protagonist in our story. This is the Sumatran rhinoceros. Moving slowly, cautiously, like all jungle animals, the largest mammal in Borneo marks his territory by leaving his scent on a tree trunk. Generally speaking, the marks serve to keep other males away. But this time, the rhino's intentions are different. He's looking for others like himself, and he's about to discover why his species of rhinoceros is the most threatened of the five species that survive today. There are five species of rhinoceros in the world. Two of these are African, and three live in the rainforests of Asia. The largest species of all is the white rhinoceros. Its name comes from a bad translation from the Dutch. The flat snout it uses for grazing led Boer colonists to call it Vite, which means wide. But when English colonists arrived, they misunderstood the name, assuming that the Dutch word Vite meant white. And the wide-snouted rhino ended up with a name that was all wrong. The other African rhinoceros is the black rhino. While smaller and more skittish than the white rhino, they are both gray in color. But black rhinos get their name simply to distinguish them from the first African species. The upper lip of the black rhino is much thinner. The other three species are found in Asia. The oldest and most well-known of all is the Indian rhinoceros. Dressed in plates of armor and armed with a single horn, he is the source of unicorn legends. He is also known as the Greater Asian One-Horned Rhinoceros. Hiding in the jungles of Java is the rarest species of all, the Javan Rhinoceros. Extremely timid animals, they are also known as the Lesser One-Horned Rhinoceros. Unlike the Indian Rhinoceros, Javan females do not generally have a horn. And the sad title of being the most threatened species of all goes to the Sumatran rhinoceros. It is the smallest rhino of all and the only one of the three Asiatic species that has two horns. It is also the only one with hair, making it the only hairy rhino that exists on Earth today, and the closest relative of the legendary woolly rhinoceros that inhabited Eurasia during the Ice Age. Just like every other day, our third leading man approaches his territorial watering hole the best place for picking up and leaving scents. Sumatran rhinos visit open watering holes in the jungle at least once a day to quench their thirst, cool off, and prevent skin problems. In addition, the mud at the edge of the hole is full of salts and minerals 
especially sodium and phosphorus, which are hard to find in the depths of the rainforest. While bathing, he picks up the scent of recent visitors. He looks for the scent of other Sumatran rhinos with the hope of finding a female. But all of the jungle rhinos seem to have disappeared. Not long ago, our protagonist often came into contact with other rhinos, or at least with their scent. But lately, the only scent he picks up is his own. The last trace of other rhinos of his kind faded quite a while ago. The watering hole has confirmed a fear he has had for months. In his part of the jungle, there are no other rhinos. If he wants to find a female, he'll have to look outside his territory.